In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page for your ClickBank products. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you make more money online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you are interested in learning different ways to make more money online. All right, so as I mentioned, I am going to show you, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of creating a landing page for your ClickBank products. Now, if you're not familiar um, with ClickBank, basically it's an affiliate network where you can grab affiliate links based on products in your niche you can place them in different places, but you can also create landing pages. If you're not familiar with a credit landing page, basically it's to collect email addresses. You, If you're an affiliate marketer, if you're new to affiliate marketing, you wanna make sure that you start email marketing as soon as possible. And so the great way to do that is to collect emails on a landing page, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, so the cool thing about some of the products that you'll find on ClickBank is there's actually a landing page that's already created. The only thing you need to do is just download it. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create our own because we want to include maybe something different. We wanna make it a little bit shorter, a little bit more uh, succinct and congruent so that uh, we don't distract our customers. One thing that we wanna do with the landing page is we wanna make it basic. We wanna say click here, enter your email address and click here to, to get the affiliate offer. Uh, maybe we wanna include a, a bonus of some sort like a, a free guide. Um, we wanna make this as quick as possible so that the, the customer doesn't lose focus. So basically what we're gonna do, as I've mentioned a few different times, the most popular niches are health, wealth, relationships and technology. But for what we're doing, it doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a a landing page in using ClickFunnels and I'll actually put that that landing page in the description below. So if you wanna use the exact landing page that I'm using, you just click the link, it'll take you to the, the exact landing page and you can download it. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to grab one, let's grab, um, I'm, I'm in the category screen, let's grab one from e-business and marketing. Now for us, it doesn't really matter which product we select, but we're just going to filter this by gravity. Gravity means basically um, the, the products that are selling the most or, or, or are uh, selling the most in, in a given period of time. So the first one you see here is make money from YouTube with no filming. I'm on YouTube here, uh, no marketing and no website. So we're gonna click this link because we just wanna see what, what we're going to get. Uh, we click the link here. And this is important because we want, again, we want to make everything congruent. We want to look at the colors. So the colors are, are red and black. Um, this is basically what the type of landing page um, that a customer can expect to land on. So the, we want to remember that our, the colors that are on here are red, black, and white. And we're going to make our, we're going to make our landing page those exact colors so that it's congruent. And if you're not familiar with congruent as far as, as marketing, um, congruency or congruent means everything has the, the same color, the same color scheme, the same flow, so that people aren't surprised when they go from screen to screen. They're thinking, okay, this is all a part of the process. However, if we've got different colors, let's say if we've got bright pink on one page and then red and black on the other, people can, will notice that, hey, this is abnormal, and they might click off or they might not purchase the product. So let's, um, let's go ahead and create that landing page and we're also gonna create a landing page, opt-in page, sales page, squeeze page, they're all the same thing. We're also gonna create a thank you page, again, that has all the same um, congruency, the same color scheme, and the, on the thank you page will actually be a link to our affiliate product. So if we go back over here, we're just going to promote this product and we're gonna enter in, uh, we're gonna generate our hop link, and the hop link is the affiliate link that is attached to our account. So if someone purchases the product based on this link, uh, we can actually receive a commission. We re we could receive thirty five sixty nine uh, for the sale. So I've got my hop link here. Let's go over to ClickFunnels and create a, a funnel real quick. All right. So I'm just going to I'm in the funnels section here. I'm going to click Add New, and then I'm going to create a new funnel, and I want to collect emails, and then we're just going to say ClickBank here, and then we'll say uh, CB. Fun. All right, so that is going to be our tag group. We can build this funnel. And now the cool thing with ClickFunnels is there's a number of templates that, that you can borrow uh, or you can create your own. What we're going to do is we're actually just gonna borrow one that's already up and then modify it just a little bit so that um, it saves us a little bit of time. You know what, let's, um, let's see here. Should we, let's find, let's use this one. Let's select template. 
and then we can click edit page. Now remember our colors are black, red, and white. So the cool thing with ClickFunnels is it's all drag and drop, it's point and click. It makes things very easy. So what you can do is, it, is just click in an area and you could say, um, we could say start making money with, whoops, with YouTube today. Uh, and we could say, and, and when I mention congruency, we want to try and use the same language that, that, that was found on this page here. So if we click this, um, we can just quickly go through and we could say, discover how to generate a regular income. So we'll copy that. We're just going to bring this back over and then we're just going to we'll highlight this and we can just replace it. Now, if you wanted to, you can increase the size of the, the text here. We can make it bigger if we wanted to um, or smaller. We could change the background. Uh, let's say what color do we want to change background? We could change the background to maybe like white if we wanted to, but I think that wouldn't necessarily look, look great. Um, but yeah, you could change the color if you wanted to. I don't think that's what we really want to do, but all right. So we changed the color. Uh, you can also change the background color. So, uh, there are a number of different ways that you can do this and it's real easy. It's real simple. Uh, but again, the key here is congruency. We want to make sure that everything has the same color. It's all uniform. And what we could do on this section here is we could add an image if we wanted to. Um, we can actually change the, the size of the image. Uh, there's just a number of different options that we have um, just by j just just using um, just using ClickFunnels. So if we were here, um, if we wanted to, we could actually remove this section altogether. We'll click yes. And then we want to create a new row and we're just going to make this one uh, and we'll say add element. And then I'm going to add a heading. We'll say enter email address to start making money. Another option is we could go back over to um, the section here and find something else. Uh, or we could say click here to find the secret to our success. Well, we could do that or enter your email below to find the secret to our success. That might be a good way to, to get someone to do something. Um, enter your email to, to learn the secret of their success. And then be beneath that, we can just add in, whoops, that's not what we want to do. Uh, we can add a new element and then here we can just add a input, um, we'll do input here and then it's already configured for email, but we want to just make sure that it's set email address. Uh, and then right below that we want to add a button, but it's actually really easy. Uh, we'll add this button. We'll change that so we want it to be red and black again we want that con congruency so we'll change that to black and then maybe um maybe we'll change the, the the words to red but again um and we can actually let's make the the input size the font font size a little bit bigger uh, but again when you're creating these landing pages you want to make them um generic or basic so that people don't get get distracted if you've got things bouncing around here if you've got music playing if you have more stuff down here it can easily make uh, people distracted and they get cl they click off they forget what they're doing um because our our lives happen so quickly and, and things change so quickly it's very easy for a person to get distracted so you want to keep this pretty basic uh, pretty generic and then get them to enter in their email address. The, the main reason why you want them to enter their email address is they may not buy in the first try and, and that's fine. Uh, you can always retarget them later and, and get them to purchase the product at a later date or you can follow up with them and say, hey, so how did you like the product? Or you can even target them for different products altogether. So what we need to do now is we've created this very basic 
landing page, but it, it it's so cool that because how easy it is, you can add a new row if we wanted to. Um, we could change width. Let's say we could do a full width row. Um, I'm not. I'm gonna delete that actually because again, I'm going to put this actual um, landing page in the description so that you can get started with this one. Obviously, you're gonna want to change the wording and change some of these other things, but it's a good place to start. I am going to change this back to red. Um, again, we want to keep that congruency. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is you want to click save and then you get this option here. We'll just say, um, we'll say uh, ClickBank example. Now the reason why you want to change this is because this can appear in, in search results in, in Google, Yahoo and Bing, Bing search results. So you want to add a little bit more text there, but I'm just going to keep this real basic for now. And we're going to click save. If we click preview, this should show us our changes. So this is what it would look like once someone clicks the link. So basically, if we just back up a little bit, you create content based on making money online with YouTube, and you, you put this landing page link somewhere. The landing page link, if I exit out of here, the landing page link basically is this right here. You can change the link, and you can do some of those other things. Um, to make it a little bit more click friendly. You can actually put it in a, a URL, URL short, shortener as well. Um, but you would, you would send this out to someone, let's say you create a YouTube video about how you can make money with YouTube. They click the link, they come to this landing page, they enter the email address, and then it takes them to this thank you page. Now embedded, including this thank you page is our hop link. Um, so I'm just gonna grab, I am going to grab or select that. And we'll edit this page here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna grab the hop link from the other page because we're gonna, we're actually gonna embed it. So we're going to, we're gonna just, again, we're just gonna make this a little bit more congruent. Uh, red here and white. And we can change the button action. So over here on the right hand side, just above, we can set the action. And we'll set the action to go to a URL. And I'm just going to paste in that hop link that we that I referenced a little bit earlier. Um, I grabbed it from my other screen so you didn't see it. But th this is the hop link that we got from ClickBank. So if I click click back, you can see that it worked because down here th there's that new URL. The other thing that you can do too is you can add in a YouTube video as like a thank you for entering your email address. You could just spend a couple minutes and say, hey, thanks for, for spending the time to entering your email address. Your free guide is on the way. Also click the get instant access button just below this video in order to be taken to the product or service that you're recommending. So you could say, what we could do here is we'll say click here to get your free email marketing guide. Whoops, spelled marketing wrong. So you can do that here and we'll click that and we can add in the link to our, our digital asset. The cool thing with Click, Click Funnels again is they actually have a place on here that you can embed your, your digital asset. So you could just um, add that in and that'll be a link that'll take them right to it. Then you can, down here, you can add your YouTube video that you wanna send them to. We could just say, I'm just gonna grab the most recent thing that I have up on YouTube, paste that there. And, all right, so if we save this and we click preview, All right, so if they click this link, it takes it would take you to the hop link that we created. There we are. And this is what the customer would purchase. See, they would go click here to start your free seven-day trial now, to start your seven-day trial now. Um, but again, you want to make sure that everything is congruent. Right now, it's not as congruent because we've got this background here, but we can change that if we click the widget here and we can make this, we can make this background uh, we can make it white if we wanted to. We can make it red. Um, that doesn't look great. We can make it black. Uh, let's make it white. And then we can change the color for this. We'll make this color red. Uh, we'll make that red. And then that actually looks a little bit better. Whoops. What did I do wrong here? Click that again. 
Um, all right, why isn't that taking? Widget. Blue. Text color. Wrong one, that's why. All right, so uh, if we save this, and then we click Preview, this actually looks a little bit better. This looks more congruent with our our um, our affiliate offer. So they entered their email address. You've got their email. Now you can actually follow up with them as often or as frequently as you want, retargeting them with other products, just continuing to build value with YouTube videos and this free offer that you've sent them. Um, this using ClickBank is a great opportunity. There are a number of good ones out there. I personally like ClickFunnels because of the additional features that they offer. You can actually sell products and services right through ClickBank or excuse me, ClickFunnels, and you don't have to have a website, uh, a standalone site at all. But uh, this will be embedded in the description below. So if you want to use this exact same one, just go down and click that link and you'll gain access to it. Uh, also, if you want to learn everything that I know about uh, affiliate marketing, click the first link, actually with the second, click the second link in the description and you'll actually get a free email guide to learn about email marketing as well. As I've mentioned a few different times in this video, email marketing is critical to your success as an affiliate marketer. One of the reasons is affiliate marketing, or excuse me, email marketing actually converts at twice the rate as affiliate marketing. Uh, just because you have the opportunity to retarget them, to keep asking them to follow up and keep providing value. Um, most customers don't purchase on the first go around. It takes between five and 12 touch points before someone will become a customer. And email marketing is a great way to continue to follow up. Also remember too, with, uh, with, with creating content, there's no guarantee that a customer will keep coming back to your site. So if you can get their email address, you can follow up with them and you don't have to worry about if they keep coming back to your site. So definitely check out the first and second link in the description. The first link will be to this funnel, this opt-in page. Um, and thank you page. And then the second one to second link will be to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing. 